My name is Rose Jones and I am a teacher from Coleridge Primary School. We have been um, learning about coding and programming and we wanted to supplement that coming here to do some computing at Highgate Wood School. I'm David Talbot, Head of Computer Science at Highgate Wood School. The workshop that we're running today is Code Kingdoms. The aim of the workshop is for students to understand that computer science is fun, but also for them to understand computational thinking and learn about instructions and sequencing. That's it. Good, 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 good. We start off with introducing them to Code Kingdom so they create their own account. I get students to explore it and learn how it works. Say, for example, they need to get through a gate, it's blocked, they need to program the character to move and they test it out. They might not work, they've got to learn from the mistakes and they develop that further. And it's building that computational thinking, it's building that understanding that there's sequences, instructions, the way things are done, they're done in a certain order. It's teaching them coding in a visual way and students actually can see what's happening, which is brilliant. The board game. Oh, the board game. Well, basically, it's like that game that we're playing on the computer, but just on a piece of paper. You've got to be the first person to the rocket and there are four players, so it's kind of hard. You roll a dice and if you've got, for example, like six, then you would then you would choose to go east, south, west or north. You try and get to the rocket without actually touching the lava or the water. And the first one to get there wins. Basically it's kind of really good because yeah. it makes you feel like you're actually doing it on there, but yeah. you're, actually, um, you're actually doing it by yourself and you're actually making up the game or something. Yeah, you're the computer, all the pressure kind of is makes on. makes us feel like we're in charge of the game. Yeah. It makes of... you more aware, so when you grow up, you're more aware of things. And so it works your brain a lot, because you have to think of where you want to go. Because there's lava and water, and if you fall in the water, you have to go back to the beginning. So when you were controlling your character, and you're pressing the arrow keys, what was it doing? The skills that I'm expecting the students to take away from the workshop are the understanding of programming, the understanding of sequences and how computers work. Computers have to follow instructions. The sequencing and dance moves, and you came up with your dance moves, there was instructions, wasn't it? Yeah? Once they've completed the workshop, they can go into another workshop, which further enhances their knowledge and understanding, but also it benefits them when they've already built some skills up, ready and prepared to enter secondary school. Last time we went here, we did Scratch, and now I've learned about it. I'm doing it all the time. Yeah, yeah. it's really fun because because it's you fun, but it's things. learning at the same time, yeah. which makes it really good. Yeah, I certainly think the workshops have helped with kids' enthusiasm and how engaged they are, um, that makes our life much easier when we go back and we certainly have seen a real buzz when we're walking back and they're far more likely to probably try things that they haven't done already and try new things that they've learned in these sessions. And we also learn as teachers much more than we, we, we did before, so it, I think it's a two-way, it helps the kids and, and the teachers. The schoolhouse has been very good in terms of the planning of lessons. They've given us the lesson plans and shown where all the computational thinking, where the program is, where, this, where the questions are going to come from. There's resources with a scheme of work, a presentation and other additional resources in there. Everything's already pre-panned so I can, I can create lessons for them. You can interpret them and change them to the way you feel is best and suited to the school. So it's, it's easy to adapt and develop and teach. For the teachers who want to try out the workshop and try it within the school and their primary school students, they can go to the Digital Schoolhouse website.